All right, so I have my um, gloves, goggles, other BSIs needed for my crew and I. Um, <clears throat> checking the scene for any hazards, checking the crowd to see if there is uh, anything unruly, making sure the vehicles are stopped, nothing else that's gonna, gonna hurt my crew or I. Um, I have a VLS crew with me, um, checking the number of patients. I have one patient that was struck by a vehicle. Uh, according to the bystanders, he was hit by a vehicle traveling about 40 miles an hour, um, tossed in the air, and then hit, hit the ground. Uh, I can assume that we use spinal precautions because of the mechanism of injury. Um, we are going to be calling for Airy back uh, to, to transport him. I um, don't think I need any other additional resources at this time. So I'm going to have a partner come in and take C spine as I give my general impression of the patient. I'm approaching the patient looking for mental status, work of breathing, and skin condition. He appears to be unresponsive. His breathing is a little slow and irregular. Um, skin is a little, a little pale. So as my partner takes C-spine, I'm going to quickly scan for any major bleeding. If I find any bleeding anywhere, I will manage that, that bleeding. I do not see any at this time. I'm going to um, check responsiveness. Hey, hey, are you okay? He responds to painful stimuli by doing a uh, scapula pinch. Uh, so he is unresponsive at this time. Coming up and checking the airway, I see he has vomit in the airway, so I'm going to have a partner suction the airway. Once the airway is clear, I'm going to look for the right rhythm and quality of breathing, looking for chest rise, making sure I have adequate tidal volume. Um, as I'm doing that, I'm going to check a radial and carotid pulse. I have both at about 120. Checking skin condition, capillary refill, and one more time scanning for any major bleeding. Um, because he is unresponsive, um, he was breathing about 12 times a minute at this time, um, and the mechanism I'm going to say is a load and go priority patient. I'm going to start my head to toe exam. Um, so I'm going to expose the patient, remove all the clothing, coming up and checking on the head for any DCAP BTLS. I have deformity on the right side of the head. Not much I can do about that. Um, I check the pupils. I have pinpoint on the right and dilated on the left, checking for fluid from the ears, anything from the nose, mouth, again checking since we had vomit earlier, making sure it is still clear. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put him on a non-rebreather mask, come down and checking the neck for the back, no deformities, contusions to that that I can feel, checking my trachea to see if it's midline and neck veins are flat. Um, moving down the chest, checking the shoulders, the clavicles, they're intact, checking the ribs for any DCAP, BTLS, and sternum. That's all intact. I'm going to listen to my breath sounds. They are clear bilaterally and just check heart tones. They sound clear. Coming down to the abdomen, I'm going to palpate all four quadrants for any tenderness, rigidity, or distension. That's all normal. Coming down and checking the pelvis. I have crepitus to the pelvis when I press on it, so no need to do the symphysis pubis. Genitalia appear to be intact. Coming down the right leg, everything is normal in the right leg. Checking a pulse. I have a very weak, rapid pulse. Checking to see if I can get any motor or sensory function. Coming down the left leg, I have deformity to the upper left leg. I'm just going to note that for now. Knee is intact. Coming down, checking the lower leg and checking the foot. All normal. Have a weak, rapid pulse. Sensory motor function. Doing the same for each arm. And I have no significant injuries. I have weak pulses radially and checking sensory and motor. Um, with him being unresponsive or, or mainly, maybe just a little bit of moaning, just some painful stimuli, because I have a Glasgow coma score of four at this time. Um, <clears throat> want to reassess the airway and breathing. I notice now that it's gone down to eight, so I'm going to have my partner switch over from a non rebreather to a bag valve mask, continuing with 100% oxygen. Uh, we are going to log roll the patient and I'm going to roll him onto his right side since his left leg is, is broken. So coming around the patient, get the arm out of the way. We will put a C collar on him. The person at the head will count. One, two, three. We log roll the patient. I'm going to leave my hand on the shoulder so I can control the C spine better as I palpate the back of the head for any DCAP, BTLS. Have a C collar so I can't check the neck. Checking his back for any injuries, none. Buttocks, back of the legs, all that is normal. We're going to put the board here, and I'm going to put my pelvic sling in place. We would then roll him back, one, two, three. Roll him back onto the board. At this point in time, we'll pad as necessary. Pad around the femur to stabilize it. Um, do our pelvic sling, stabilize him to the board, reassess our circulation, sensory, and motor. Um, 
Before we leave the scene, I'm going to check with the crew to see if they know anything about his medical history, allergies, medications, uh, past medical problems, um, and what he was doing when this happened, and last time he had something to eat or drink. I can't do OPQ or ST because he's unresponsive. At this point in time, we're going to move to the ambulance. In the ambulance, I'm going to have my partner get a set of vital signs, blood pressure pulse, respiratory rate, pulse ox. I'm going to check a blood sugar. It was 112. I'll put him on an ECG to monitor his heart rhythm, showing sinus tack. Um, I have the fractured pelvis um, and femur. His blood pressure was 96 over 78, so I suspect that we have shock developing. I'm going to start bilateral uh, IVs of lactated ringers and then run those. Uh, I'm going to give him a liter bolus and reassess vital signs after that. Um, at this point, I'll continue to reassess my patient until the helicopter lands and I will turn the patient over to that crew.